Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got a little WooCommerce site here and we've been demonstrating the new Divi WooCommerce modules. We created a custom cart page in the last video. Today we're going to create a custom checkout page and here's a regular checkout page. It's okay, it's functional, it does the job. It's not very exciting though. So we're going to take something like this and turn it into something like this, which is a little more exciting. You can put in any content you want. And that's going to make a better user experience for your visitors. Really easy to do, no coding involved. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is create a new page. And we'll give it a name. Checkout or checkout new, let's call ours checkout new so we can differentiate. I'm going to use a Divi Builder, obviously. And I'm going to build from scratch. First thing I want to do is this top section, I'm just going to make it into a heading. So I'm going to use just a single column. Inside, I'm going to put a text module and just give it a quick heading. And then we'll move on to the WooCommerce modules. And here I just wanted to say check out. That's fine. Pop over design quickly, won't spend too much time on this. Okay, I want it to be bold. I want it to be white, it'll disappear. I want it to be about 50 pixels so. And I want it to be in the middle. That's great. Okay, well, let's just save that. We'll go into the actual section and give it a little background and we're done. Go down to background. I'm going to use a gradient there. Just pop a blue on the top. It's already got one. I'll change that slightly. And let's pop a purple on the bottom. And I just want to make that section a little skinnier and we're good to go there. So let's go to our design, to spacing. And padding, let's give it 20 top and bottom. Just put in the 20, it puts in the pixels for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. Great, that's my heading taken care of. Okay, actually, let's go back in there. I'm going to capitalize that. So you can go over, common to most Divi things, you can either go in the module and go down to text edit or go over and hit the little paintbrush icon. It'll take you exactly where you need to go. I just wanted to capitalize that. Great, okay moving on now our next little section this is where we want to have them put their price details but we want to be able to add you know things that we want them to see perhaps other things that they'd be interested in so i'm going to put a new section regular section i'm going to have a little column perhaps on the left for mine so i'm going to use this setup and in the left hand column let's give them some woo products so the new divi woo modules residing in something called Woo modules at the bottom here. Click on that and it will show you all of the existing ones and the new ones. So I'm going to add some Woo products right there. Choose whatever products it is you'd like to show them. I'm going to put in a category, a product category. And I only want four products, say. And then simply choose whatever category you want here. I'll leave it unchecked, it's just going to grab the first four it sees. Then you can go over to styling and you can style this however you, you wish. It's got an overlay which is white at the moment with a blue icon. So let's pop in there and just customize this. Let's make our icon white, the overlay color blue, but we'll take the opacity way down so it's just a real light blue. There we go. And of course, let's change that icon to maybe an eyeball or something like that. We can roll down. Here's the icons. Now they've just integrated Font Awesome into here. So there's hundreds of them. It doesn't look like much, but if you start scrolling down that bar will shrink and you scroll for a long time with all the Font Awesomes, you can filter and take them out or just put in a search. I'm gonna put in a search for eye. And there we go. And I'm gonna grab that first one right there. Now we've got a little white eyeball and a blue overlay. Great, let's roll on down. Image, let's give that a little border. You can give it rounded corners if you want. I'm gonna leave mine square. That one's gonna do them all four at once. You can do top, right, bottom, 
or left separately. Just going to get one pixel. Let's make that blue. Great. Roll them down. Let's give it a little bit of box shadow too. Fantastic. And our little titles here. Again, you can click on the brush and the price is there. So let's just make our price a bit bigger and we're good to go with this. So it's taking us straight to the price because I've hit that little paintbrush. I want to make that a little bit bigger and a, I think we'll make it blue as well. Something like that. And let's make it bold or semi bold. Great. So I've got four little products down the left hand side that they may be interested. I think I'll change that sale badge from orange to blue as well because we've got a little sale item there. So we can go down to sale badge text right here. Sale badge color. I'm going to make mine blue. There we go. It's more in line with the rest of my site. OK, I'm happy with that particular piece. OK, well, now we need their checkout details. So let's add that in here. I'm going to add this. And again, we'll shoot down to the bottom straight to the Woo modules. And here we are. And we want checkout details. There we are. Woo checkout details. And this is what you've actually got in your cart there. And again, let's just style this a bit, a little bit, make it a little more interesting. The heading, I'm going to click on the paintbrush there. Again, I'm going to make that blue. I'm going to make it bold. That's fine. Now let's make it up a cake as, as well. Let's move on to our little products list down below. So I'm going to roll down some. Column labels. Well, I'm going to leave them pretty much as they are. Body text is fine too. I can read everything great there. Let's go into the table. I'm going to give it a bit of an inner shadow, I think. So I'm going to roll down to the box shadow, and there's an inner shadow there. And that kind of makes that stand out a little nice. Let's put a border around there also. Here's the border. Let's make it one pix. Let's make it blue. There we go. We've got a little blue line around there. Well, next we need their checkout and billing. So let's save what we've got here. And we'll add a new module. Again, shoot down to the bottom to the Woo modules. And we want checkout and billing next. Now it's telling us this module will not function properly on the front end because this is not the assigned checkout page. When we've created it and happy with it, I'll show you how to assign it as your checkout page. OK, well, let's start at the top here. I've got this this first field. I want to change to my blue rather than their blue. So here's the background color. That's fine. Billing details. Again, I'm going to make that title bold, blue and uppercase. I'm going to make that bold, uppercase and blue, just like everything else. Most of these other things down here, I'm pretty happy to leave as they are. You can style it if you want the, the background colors and things. Let's go into one of these then. And fields background color, let's make it a, a real light blue perhaps. There's a blue. I'm going to take the opacity down so it's really nice and light. There we go. And our placeholder text, which is what's actually in there. Make that black. There we go. That stands out nicely to me. Titles, if you wanted to, we could change those to a blue color again. We're on the required field indicator. I'm happy with that to be red right there. And our title text is fine as blue. OK, I'm happy with that. Now we need some shipping options for them. So let's save this. And we'll add yet another one. Again, straight down to the WooCommerce. And we want some shipping details in case they want to ship it elsewhere. There we go. Woo checkout shipping. And again, we've got that same error message, but we can ignore that because I'll, I'll take care of that in a minute. OK, again, the title. I want to make that blue and bold. And uppercase. And our fields, I guess we'll make them the same color as the ones above. It was a blue. And let's 
drag the opacity down to a similar sort of state. There we go. Text and everything, that seems fine to me. The required field, that works. Let's move on to our next one. Now we need to give them a way of paying. <laughs> so let's save this. And we'll add a new module and again straight down to the woo we want to put a checkout payment in there so let's roll up there's checkout payment great i haven't set up any payment methods obviously you'd have yours set up already and we'll go over that in future videos okay so let's just style this really the only thing i want to do here is style my button everything else can stay pretty much as it is so let's go to the design. Here's the button. I'm going to use custom styles and make it the same as the other buttons on our site, which is text color white, button background purple. And we'll go hover background. Hover over the dark writing, you'll see these little icons. If there's an arrow there, we can set a hover state, which is when your mouse is on it. I'll turn it to blue. And when your mouse is not on a desktop state, it's going to be purple. That's perfect. But I also want the border to do the same thing. So purple, regular state, and hover state, blue. Great, we'll give that button a little box shadow, lift it off the page there. And again, you can add icons and things if you want to there. There's plenty to choose from, as you've seen. So let's add a little bit of box shadow. And then I'm happy with that. And we can just go on down and perhaps add some related products down below that the customer may be interested in. So let's add another row. I'm going to make this a full width row this time. I'm going to go down to Woo. And I want related products. Oh, it's right on the bottom there. Fantastic. And I'm going to leave it as a product count of three because that kind of is in line with what I've got here. But I will do a similar thing. I'm going to go to the title, make it bold and blue. In fact, I'm going to make all of this centered, this text here, I think. So I'm going to go over to it to my title. I want it uppercase. I want it blue. I want it in the middle. I also want it bold. Fantastic. I'm going to go up to the text just above. I'm going to make sure that's all in the middle too. That works for me. Now let's make our titles there blue also. Good. Now we can give our images a border. Like we did with the ones above. And a bit of box shadow. So I'll give it a border and make it blue and we'll give it a little box shadow underneath. And that's pretty much all I want to do to mine. You can keep going, going. You can make this page as, as complex and as detailed as you want to, but that's going to work for me. And it's a lot more interesting than the generic page. I'm going to put a bit of box shadow under that section there just to finish off. Perfect, and we're done. So let's save our page changes, make sure it's going to look correct for us. Save draft, we need to publish today, so we can use this. Exit the Visual Builder. Okay, and there's our little page right there. It's nice and clear. So I'm happy with that. There's our original checkout page. So now we've got it saved, we can assign it to our WooCommerce so everything should work properly. Because if we go back to our store here, go to checkout and then payments, it'll take us to this checkout page. So to assign it, let's go to dashboard. We're going to go down to WooCommerce. Then we're going to go to settings. I'm going to go all the way along to advanced. And here's the checkout page. So we'll hit the little drop down arrow. 
and we've called ours check out new so we can just put in check and it should find it there it is check out new we just need to switch that one over roll down to the bottom here save the changes Go and visit our site. Let's put something in the cart. Let's add this one to the cart. Okay, now let's go to our cart. And here's the page that we designed yesterday for our custom cart. With our little countdown. There's the business laptop we just put in there. We've got two of those, looks like. Let's proceed to checkout. It should take us to our new page now. And here we are. As you can see, it's taking us to our new page. We've got our checkouts and things there that we've ordered. We can put our billing in here. We've got an alternate address if you want by just checking that and it will get that field down and check it, that will disappear. And of course, we can place our order when we're ready. And down at the bottom, there's a couple of related products we put in there just so they might be interested in something else. I should have changed that label to blue, but I showed you how to do that in there. So that's a lot more interesting, that checkout page, than the sort of generic one. And that's a brand new feature that Divi have just added, and it's a really good one. Before we had to customize this with custom CSS, which is okay if you know CSS, but it takes a lot more time. So there's how to create a custom checkout page using the new Divi WooCommerce modules. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.